The Toronto Maple Leafs are Stanley Cup champions. That feels good to say. Even better, where after last night, the Leafs got beaten overtime by the far superior San Jose Sharks. Uh, in all serious note, um, goddamn Toronto, why are you losing to tanking teams? Montreal, Arizona, San Jose now, woof. Better, uh, I don't know, change something, man. I was, oh, watching them, I feel bad. I was like, man, I, that lack of effort. <laughs> Looks very familiar to, you know, as a Sharks fan, you get to see, uh, you get to see that, you know, a little bit more often, but you don't expect to see it from a team with the talent level that the Leafs have. So hopefully you guys figured it out. We figured it out here. Welcome back to our franchise mode. Hit that like button for the YouTube algorithm. And again, we are Stanley Cup champs. So let's check out just how we got there. Get a look at, uh, oh, the total stats from the end of all things. 384 goals for, 205 goals against. Dominance. Absolute dominance. There's no other way to put it. That is straight dominance. Almost four goals per game and allowing around two. Crazy. 27.3% on the power play. Sick. Absolutely sick for the playoffs. One for four. That's pretty, eh, in the playoffs, not quite like a goal a game. But, man, in any normal circumstance, that's an average of like a goal a game. Crazy. Penalty kill, on the other hand, not great. <laughs> that being said, we didn't take too many. I mean, well, usually we see ourselves taking like almost twice as many as we as we receive, right? That's kind of always been a weird thing in NHL games. I don't know it's how I build my teams or what. But, hey, we kept it under that, so... Uh, ref bias. <laughs> uh, no, just kidding. Uh, yeah, and only losing three times. Again, dominant performance here in the playoffs from this team. And the man himself, Austin Matthews, the man we named captain, the man who had 24 points in 19 games, played 12 goals. It's not like a crazy, crazy sick amount, but the fact of the matter is, and honestly, eh, no, I think you've got to still give it to Matthews in this context, though, because, you know, 1C... 53.4% face-offs. You know, positive takeaway to giveaway ratio. And he laid the body a bit. Not really, actually. Um, Yeah, but the game, again. If you compare him to Samsonov. <laughs> fuck, man. I kind of feel like Samsonov's got to win that. I know it's 24 points, and I know the game loves its points. But I'm trying, like, thinking from any other contacts. Fuck me, dude. Look, under two goals against per game. That is ridiculous. 14-2-0 with four shutouts. One out of four of his games were shutouts. 9-3-3-1-8-1. I love, I love me some Austin Matthews, and I love what he did for us, but I I'm sorry, man. Sam Sonov's going to be the con smite, dude. <laughs> Insane. Just ridiculous. But uh, he was over point per game. I'm not trying to take away from what the man did, but goddamn, look what Sam Sonov did. 21 points for Byfield. So all you people who are like, trade him. Yeah. I think we'll keep him. We'll see. We'll, uh, we'll see what his contract's like. Uh, Marner, 18 points. Perfetti, 17. That's a huge, huge boost to us. He didn't have the best regular season. What was it? 50 points. But coming up like he did in the playoffs right there. Massive. Leonov. What did he get? Zero points last playoff run, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Went from zero to hero. 16 points in 19 games played. Nine goals plus 10. Only took four minors. Very, very disciplined for a power forward. Very good. Look at that aggressiveness. 92. Did they fix that? I hope they did. Making discipline worth a damn. I don't know. Not a large enough sample size. Nylander had 15 points in uh, 17 games played. 12 assists. Real solid. Robertson, 13 points. Um, Roslevic had 12. Bunting with 11. Like, that is just so many different contributors. And that's your that's your top nine. And each of them had 10 or more points in 19 games played. That's exactly what you need. Depth scoring for success. We got it right there. Obey Kubel, Jano, Godet. You know, solid fourth liners. You know, five goals for Jano, man. Like, give it up. <laughs> None of them took a crap ton of penalties. They were plus... Uh, penalties. It's almost the same numbers, though. <laughs> and None of them took a crap ton of penalties. And they're all pluses. Can't hate it. Bluger. Not, yeah. Yeah, he was there. He got a goal as a depth guy. 
and the defense. Riley, again, not like this crazy runaway point total, but helped lock it down. The thing was, we're getting, again, a bit more spread scoring right there. 13 points, 8 points, 5 points, 5 points, 4, 4. No, you know, everyone getting 4 points at least on the back end. Not too bad. Everyone really even. Like, it looks like all of our pairings were equally hard to play against. Br again, brilliant. What else do you want? And we already took a look at it. Sam Sonoff was absolutely lights out. And that's what got us there. Again, think about every one of our playoffs lost. It's been something missing. Something was missing. And this year, we trust it. We don't we don't load at the deadline. We just kind of trust it. Go back to what we saw at the beginning of the season. Try to revert that team to that state. And my goodness, did they ever reward us. Stanley Cup champion, Toronto Maple Leafs. Whew. That was uh, nice. We're going to get up to the uh, normal points uh, that we do before we check everything. There we are. Texas Stars Calder Cup. I had a feeling we might win it, but I don't think we... You no, know, obviously we didn't. I can't remember when we went out. We'll have to check that. So, look at Vegas. Absolute gift. Jesus, what a lottery. Buffalo stays, but Vegas go from 12-2. to 2. Washington from 7-3. to 3. L.A. San Jose get hosed a bit, but they're still in the top five. Islanders and Dallas really get punished. <laughs> and we are obviously nowhere to be found. Because, man, are we quite good. Let's check out some of the retirements here. Malkin, at age 40, says goodbye. 1,500 points in his career. Very good career. Uh, Krejci also says goodbye. 41. Uh, 922 points. Great career. Brent Burns waited out his entire contract. <laughs> Plus, uh, Carlson. Wow, he dropped fast. Uh, David Perron, Petrangelo, Suter. Wow, the name's going now, huh? Whew. All right. Benino, 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 Benino. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. That's Justin Braun up there and Chase on. All right. I <laughs> just, we, and I looked up briefly. <laughs> we ended on fucking Tanev doing his crazy eyes. <laughs> oh, that was great. Um, Yaro Halak. Great, yeah, great career numbers. Always, he's, in my opinion, definitely one of the more underrated kind of 1Bs. Or at least you don't hear about him that much. At least in my eyes. Maybe because he's in the East, mostly. Uh, Kemper, Talbot, Martin Jones. Oh, back in Boston. <laughs> Boston Bruins legend, Martin Jones. Back, back, back home. Uh, yeah. And that's, that was, bleh, oh god, I thought it was freezing. Uh, Burns and Suter become coaches. And any retirement? We have not had a single coaching retirement yet, have we? I can't remember one. I could be wrong, but I cannot remember us having a coaching retirement. Okay, pre-draft interviews. Let's do it. Let's see what the heck our scouts are able to figure out when we just let them auto-scout there because we were busy with the playoffs. Yeah, same thing for the mediums, but we still got that power forward. Do I have a second where I can get that? I don't even know. And actually, a second will be too late. Still have that one low lead. Yeah, so auto-scout didn't do a great job. That's all right. We don't need him to. Quincy Hedekin, 20. Three. Ew. Ew. That's terrible. I mean, it's not terrible. Just at that range, like in the second round, eh, it's a little not good. I really think this is uh, not a great draft. It's not going to be very deep, I don't think. Like, this looks kind of deep. But again, he's 19 with the same ETA. So, like, this is like the next tier of top sixes and fours. Like, this is the tier that should show up around the 70, 80 mark, like we've seen in the past. The fact they're showing up at 40, the fact our, our medium elite's coming at that range, too, really makes me believe this isn't going to be a very deep draft, so. All right, uh, I'm not going to bother with interviews. Just going to get an idea of it before we actually get into it and the timers start, but let's check this out first. Let's do this first. Get to see our name up there all year. You're goddamn right. Toronto Maple Leafs. We dealt with all our demons, dude. Who like we 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 be Boston t and Tampa on the road there? We we you know we didn't get to deal with Carolina, but that's okay. I think they beat us a few times. I can't fucking remember now at this point. Um, <laughs> Presidents went to Colorado, and of course we faced Winnipeg in the Cup Finals. Nice little Canadian team showdown. Connor McDavid, Art Ross, Aho got the heart. Pionk with the Norris. I like that. It's a lot of cool different guys. Look at that: McCarr, then Riley, then McAvoy, then Devontae's now Pionk. It's a nice little uh, mishmash of players. Sebastian Ajo with the Lady Bing Novikov with the Calder. Matthews with the Con Smythe. Matthews slash Samsonov. Uh, Vezina Vasilevsky, Shosturkin, and Kochetkov. Wow, they have Shosturkin and Kochetkov? What the fuck? Uh, get the William M. Jennings. Uh, Eskalinen, 
or maybe Escalina. I think it's Escalina. Uh, Masterton. Uh, Jack Adams went to Chicago's coach. Uh, Selkie to O'Reilly. That's <laughs> three years in a row. Uh, Aho, Ted Lindsay, and Svechnikov with the Maurice Richard. How close were we? Regular season points. I'm just going to look for us and see if we're even up there. Toronto Marlies. Yeah, winner. Okay, winner of the North Division. Eastern Conference. Okay, so we. I don't think we even. Yeah, we didn't. We. I guess got eliminated in the third round. Yeah, didn't even go that far. Weak sauce. Imagine. All right. Um. Well, draft time. I think. Let's do to do. Nothing to trade. Not, not that I was even thinking about trading. Just no. <laughs> not until that's kind of crazy. Of course, we're gonna have the. Oh, we don't have that pick. Uh, yeah. I was gonna say like that guy at fifty. We're gonna have to move for him though. We got the 32 in the second round. At least we have a second. <laughs> Look at me go, keeping a second. Um, so 50, uh, this is... This is going to be like 40, high 40s? 50, Jesus Christ. I can't count. <laughs> I can't math at all. There you go, 49. If we want to get it, that's probably the one to go for. 64. I don't think I really needed him. Well, now I got to check. All right, I should actually plan this out, derp. So, 64. Nine, did I just go to the wrong fucking thing? Yes, I did. <laughs> My brain is not all the way on yet, apparently. Good God. Okay, let's try again. That's what we're looking at. Uh, so 57 centrally. Our scout says 53. So I could, I could go a bit later than the 49. But why bother? 86. If I want, well, that guy's 20. Is his ETA better? No. The fuck is he earlier for? <laughs> He's got the gem. That's that's it. Maybe X factors. Yeah, I ain't trusting that. No, I get him. Might as well go for him. Let's see our pins here. So 54. Ooh. 19, 3. I don't like any of that stuff. 72. So maybe I do want to hold on to my 60 something for this guy. 72. No, right, he's, it's not the biggest deal, but I might as well. What, what can I trade for this then? I don't know. That 49, I might have to skip something. If I want to get that, I can get another goalie later. We can still get a good influx of trade value. Yeah. All right, let's, uh, I, f let me just take a look what the hell we have. I could probably go to this pick, one of these two. So that's 49, 50, 51. Our scout was saying 54, so it should be safe because it usually goes by central scouting. We're going even earlier than our scout says. Not as far, yeah, three earlier than our scout should still be good enough. So I don't really think I have much else besides that second to give up unless I have guys that weren't really getting it up, getting it up, <laughs> growing. Yeah, I mean, I, I kind of. Get it up yourself. Uh, 20, 67, that's borderline. I'm going to get kicked out of this, but at least we know what we're targeting now. Again, two borderlines. Playmaker. I don't think we trade those ones, though. Like, you're kind of getting, yeah. Damn, dude, 84 overall. Not bad. Let's go for that Montreal pick. All right, now we'll, we'll, we'll be able to make this. Um, Yeah, I, I don't know. I, they're, they're close enough to 70. I want to hold on to them. 52 at 19, maybe, maybe not. Sniper. Could probably give that up because we're getting something better and younger, essentially. We're, and that's kind of the trades we're going to have. Or, dab it, this guy's not going to get as close. It might have to be this guy and the other because that's obviously not getting as close. The low elite, I don't know if that'll be enough on its own. They don't want either of them. It might be enough on its own. Buse for, for that guy. Kind of sucks, but he didn't grow too well in that first year at all. I mean, he might grow more, but again, we're going to get... Yeah, I'll take that. With the way the later picks work, I don't even know if I could have gotten anything else. All right, so that'll be good. We have both of those seconds. Oh, that's quick. Uh, Hopefully, that's just a bad pick for Vegas. Nope. Damn. 84, 79, 76. LA, do you fare any better? 83. What the fuck are Washington and Vegas doing? Um, Sharks, maybe you lucked out. Yeah. <laughs> so the two guys... 
yeah, the two guys who jumped in and said fuck you got the worst guys of the top five. Fitting. Um, top four, that's not a bad overall. Any jump, there's the jump. And right back. High nine at 11. Okay. That's how this... Alright, we can scroll back a bit. Up to our pick. Oh, another 70-something. It's not bad. Kind of where you expect those guys to be. Really low right there. Enforcer, nice. Really low. Very low top sixes. Yeah. There went... That's the 20-year-old, eh? Yeah, or 19-year-old. I don't know, man. I wouldn't take that in the second. Like, that's so early for that kind of guy, in my opinion. Anyway. That's our pick. We know who we're getting. We're just kind of... I was trying to just feel out that draft still. So, we're going to get Esteban Davison. Power forward, gem. Five-year ETA, but he's 18. Probably no X-Factors and such, but we're taking him anyway. Just want to make sure I'm still on him. 51. Yeah, this is in the second. Like, this is a guy who would normally come 3-4. Later, 3-4. Or, well, at least 3-4. Yeah. So, definitely, I think this is going to be a thinner draft. So, I'm glad we got him. We're going to get something pretty decent next. Let's go up there to the 64. Oops. Oh, yeah, that's right. We have two seconds. I was like, what did I do? We have two seconds. So, there's our guy. Low. Yeah, low six and fours. There's one. Ooh. Oh, that was the guy. Yeah, that was the guy I was looking at. Pretty solid, but again, at the 19 mark, that's actually the 65. Eh. Again, it's that year difference. Like, that's, yeah. If the, if he was last year, he's a first-rounder. But in this one, I guess with the overall, I was kind of wrong at the how late he could have been. Yeah, I thought he was going to be a bit lower than that. Anyway, talk, talking to myself. Trying, I'm trying to get a feel. You guys can, yeah, my, my, my gears are clicking. Trying to get a feel for how these uh, drafts work. I don't know. I've always loved to do that. So, again, we can still get Nathan Cross here, which is likely the one to get. Oh, this is the guy I was thinking of. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry, that other goalie. But still, I wouldn't have taken him then. 1956. If he was in 60, maybe. Yeah, I think it's another power forward, probably. Let's. See. Oh yeah, we we can't tell at all because he's got no strengths, no weaknesses. We have no idea. Um, it's the most likely. It says. I think we grab him. Could have interviewed him to figure out what he was. I would. So like, this guy's gonna have more value. This guy might be more useful. I guess we should go for value. That's kind of what we've been doing. But this guy's not gonna have that. He's honestly gonna have probably as much as a top six. So maybe this guy actually works for us. Yeah, I'm gonna go for him. I'm going to go for him. I kind of like that a bit better. Let's see what he turns out to be. Grinder, Let's fucking go. In love. In love. Keeping him. Not going anywhere. <laughs> All right. 96 now. We're going to miss one of those goalies, but the other one's at... I think he's at 156 or something, but let me just double check. Let's set up for the next batch. So we're probably going to have to get him with the next one. These last ones can be blind picks. We actually kept a solid amount of picks this year. Or maybe it's about the normal. It, it feels like we have a bit more than usual. Nice. Islanders. Night. Okay. So so that that's what I mean. This is like, look where he's going. And that's kind of what our other guy was, right? Like, same age tree, what, two overall better? Like, this is where I expect him. Another one right there. Code, oh, he's 19, though. Interesting. So, Gov was fantastic. There's a uh, Perzog. Oh, my God. Yeah. We don't have to worry about his name. Another Russian goaltender to uh, New York. Other than that, though, top nines. Okay. 136. So I can still get it with my next pick. You can get this guy. Blind pick time. Hmm. What do we want to do? Four year. Nope. I'm kind of, with what we just saw, I'm like, I'm going to look for a fucking medium. Oh, maybe not. Five year. Ugh, no guarantee. I was like, I'm going to look for medium elite. Maybe I'm not. <laughs> oh, there's nothing actually lining up. Come on, give me a two tick. No. Okay. Well, there's only a couple possibilities for a medium elite here, and I don't have a great feeling about it. This guy's four-year ETA. He's not going to be most likely. 
and everything else is three ticks plus. So those are guarantees. That's not working. This is the only other option. 106 is kind of out there, but he's got the mate. Again, it's a maybe five year. I'm looking at his overall. <sighs> Probably he's got leadership ability. Crash the net. We're doing it. Mickelson, come on. Best chance for a medium elite steal. Ah, we got to wait. Our really only chance. Oh! Oh, he was! Let's go! 48 medium elite. Don't care. Don't care he's 48. That was a sick pick, baby. Sick. Sniper. Let's go. Right there, yeah. It, it descends to... Oh, man, perfect. Perfect. Love it. Center sniper. I honestly wish it was more of a, like a role player type, but whatever. Center sniper. We'll see how he develops. Again, more trade value, if anything. Sick. Very happy about that. Draft God's back, boys. Draft God. Draft God back. Makes a return all the time. I think this is the first return of the draft God. Nothing really. So now we can grab Parker Edwards, and we will. And he is 48. Yeah, pretty kind of standard for a league goalie at that point. So I guess not as thin as I thought. It did carry through. I thought seeing some of those medium elites there, it wouldn't carry through, but we saw it. I'm glad I saw it from other teams. That's the only reason I would have fucking looked. I don't know what I would have taken then if I didn't feel like there was any sort of trend. My goodness. Uh, ooh. Did I mess this up? No, 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 no. We got the guy already. Yeah, he was earlier than I thought. Why am I doing that? I meant to go check draft class. We're fine, though. Because the other guy, I remember, is at 200-something. And, yeah. Low elite right there. Nice. What age? Yeah, I figured he'd be 19 at the 50s. Uh, nice. Another elite goaltender. Yeah, I'm... The steals have carried through. I was definitely wrong about my assumption, but I'm glad I was. Wait, wait, wait. Ah! Here. Okay, I was like, wait, what? I clicked the wrong thing, though. Okay, um... I don't know. We could go for another goaltender. It seems to kind of be the meta uh, for you. No. <laughs> never mind. Not him, though. It's going to have to be five year. Okay, never mind. Okay. Ugh. Well, 17, five year. That's a decent chance for something. A 19 five-year. Also kind of a decent chance, not going to lie. Um, we would rather have the younger one, though, if he does exist. Might be the best. Just go for him. Nothing else, really. 159. At this point, it's like you can go 20 or 30. You're not really making much of a difference going off the board like that. Let's try, Connor. No! Low, low bottom six. Rip. What the hell? Do I have another pick right after this? Did I really? I don't remember seeing that. Am I blind? I must be. Yeah, so the 192 will get our last pin. Okay, we got a, we got a couple blind pins. All right, I'm going to try the other one. <laughs> I'm going to try the other one. Because, again, they could be 19 low elites with, you know, shit ETA. We see that all the time. Uh, so that's two of the different guys. But, oh, don't do this to me. Low elite. It's going to be a low elite. Oh, fuck. <laughs> all right. Uh, Draft God demands that that's, that footage be burned. <laughs> all right what the f no i don't need miss clifton nothing else really oh uh, maybe we reached the end well we know one's coming there at least i should have actually to be fair i should have checked more around what i should have done was been like here's my low elite let's sort by ranks again and go to to that area 200 to 250 yeah Probably should have done that. That guy had a, has a good chance. This guy has a decent chance. Tw oh, especially because he's tw oh, four year though. Hmm. Less. Man, do I really... How, how badly do I want to test this theory? I kind of want to test this theory. One third. Oh, wait, wait, wait. He was at... Well, actually... Oh, yeah. I've... No, this is my last one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is my last one. No, it's not. Yes, I gave it my seven. Yeah. Okay. How badly do I want to test this theory? Kind of. I'm just going to grab another random pick because it shouldn't really matter. We're going way up the board anyway. Um, 
I probably have to trade another seven. Oh, I do have one. Could I do that? Would they do that? I don't know. They might not, because... Yeah, because likely... Yeah, we're a good team. That seven's going to be not as good. <sighs> yeah, we do have some unsigned guys. Bluger. You could give him up. That's gone. I actually don't know if I can... I know I'll have to do at least two, because I remember these are definitely worth more. Yeah, see, they don't even want... That's great. Yeah, they've definitely changed that. You cannot get those throwaway picks as much anymore. Let's throw another one in there. Maybe with three garbage, we can get one pick. Yeah. That's kind of nuts, though. They really changed... And that's probably for the for the better. It was so easy to get good draft capital before. And then by, by, uh, uh, by extension, good trade value. So... What I'm going to do here is skip out on all these guys, I think. there's All right, there's some decent looks, yes, but that's the guy I'm really interested in. Oh, we don't have confirmed five-year. Ooh, I really thought it was confirmed five-year. And then this guy was 20, and our guy is 18 with five years. So, honestly, that 17-year-old is the decent chance i i, I kind of want to test that theory that's the guy i was looking at i want to see how close i may have been in thinking but again the strat is kind of throw some curveballs for me at ready but we're going for it sasha endress god damn it <laughs> i have to do this every time come on give it give it to me game there we go there we go baby see i should have done that before now i had to trade for another pick but it allowed us to get rid of some junk so there we go that's the guy and you guys know i saw him immediately caught my eye Ask me how. It's because I'm the draft god. <laughs> um, for those of you out there, please realize this is ironic. This bit right here, please. <laughs> uh, everyone else is in on it. Um, if you aren't familiar with me. <laughs> anyway. Up to our last pick. We'll grab our... No. Wait. Oh, I could have done that, actually. <laughs> I actually legit could have done that. That was actually a decent trade to take because I got like a free player. You could have used it for, I don't know, just a free player on your roster, even if you have to sign him. We're going to grab Paul Hayes now. 48 center sniper. So that was an insane draft right there. Insane draft. Couple blind pick elites, one medium, one low. And I'm not going to bother looking at the rest. I don't think so. Let's see if anyone got anything good on the last one. Nope. Low nine was the best. There we go. Davison, Cross, Mickelson, like. That was a solid start right there. I think we had a couple, was it who Connor and Bile? Yeah, Connor and Biles, but we're both pretty big misses. But everything else was great. That was a good draft. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we still, yeah, we're within our limit of nine. That was I think that was the most picks we've ever had in a draft, though. So we're getting to that stage where we can have competitive team and start to get a lot of draft class, but a lot of trade value. It's gonna become, you know, easy mode, which is probably around the time we will be ending things because no one likes it too easy of a of a time, right? We won a cup. We're going to see, whoa, how much uh, more we can go. At this point, it's like, I was like, hmm, maybe new coach. At this point, no. <laughs> he stays. Dumont is the guy, apparently. And we'll keep his staff. Maybe I can look for a better goalie coach, but I actually don't want to change a fucking thing. This guy, these guys might be a bit more difficult. Now, these guys, I, yeah, HL, okay. Just give him exactly what he's asking for, and they should sign. At least I've, that's happened before. Honestly, I'm just going to keep all my coaches because why the heck not? And obviously, we're keeping our scouts because they are amazing. We only got one guy. So scroll down. Sign at Friedrich. I don't know why I pronounce it like that. Don't ask. All right. Byfield still doesn't want that extension. Um, I, I should have told you I did look before the video. Um. The price tag was still out of this world. I actually should have mentioned that because some people might have been screaming at this point. Check on Byfield. Yeah, it was so, let's see what it is right now. Yeah. Oh, well, that's much better. Much better than he was asking for. But we can't do the... Uh, we can get two more years of RFA. <sighs> it's not what I wanted to pay him, but, you know. I think, we'll, I think I'll make him sweat a little bit. I think we're going to make him sweat because he's, he's asking for a lot. And it might change once he gets into actual free agency. So we're going to play hardball with him. You know, we got 15 mil to spend. I don't want you to take up 60, 66% of it necessarily. Larson, I think, is done. Eh. 
I could give him a one year if he promises to stay there. But who's ready? We might have some guys who are ready. Norlander's been knocking on the door, but I'm, I, I can't give it to him, man. He's only got 81 awareness. Moran, uh, honestly, I think I want this guy. I think, yeah, you know what? Make way for the, make way for the new. We just want a cup. We appreciate you. But let's wait, make way for the new because we may be having to pay Byfield a little bit more. So let's start getting in some guys who are about ready, which I think, well, Anton Olsen kind of, but real, I love Etienne. We signed this guy. And, uh, goddamn, 87, 80, 44, that's a dream. And he's a lefty, so, you know, Lilligan can go back on his right side. Real nice. Bjorklund, this is interesting. I should have, okay, just do it. Don't ask questions. Uh, Wool, yeah, we'll keep you around, I guess. Just keep them all. <laughs> keep them all. If they're, uh, if they're all going to be that cheap, hell yeah. Okay, let me see all the basic stuff that we got to do. Quite a bit. Give me one sec, though. I got to use the restroom. Alrighty, so. Bluger. No. Yeah. Not not paying a depth piece that much, I don't think. Well, I did pay him that last season. He wasn't incredible, but he does have another... He does have more usefulness, honestly. And we do have the cash for 1.6. So, I honestly could. Yeah, I know it's more important in my eyes, though. Oh, man. 16 mil. Could still do it. We don't really need to add much, honestly. So we could, yeah, we can legit keep everyone. And yeah, if you if you can keep the keep the cast of a Stanley Cup winning team together, I guess you do that. So same thing. I'm just gonna give him exactly what he wants. I'm hoping that he'll do it. I don't know if that uh they'll sign on a no applies here too, but I think it might be different because well, the other extensions are different too. Man, that's such a good price. Yeah, if I can get two years at one mil, I'm 100% doing that for Obey Kubel. Godet, how about you? Yeah, we'll just do the one year of that price. All right, I think we should probably keep everyone because contract-wise, we're looking a bit slim. Here's an entry level, but that's it. So, I'm yeah, I'm just going to keep everyone. Keep everyone. There's no one really falling off. Again, I don't know... Douglas, uh oh, I have to give him real money to play in my AHL. That's okay though. We again, we have the cash. I'm not even gonna worry about it. Let's just grab them all. Okay, Gogolev, and is that it? Is that one more? No, one more. Abramov, sure. Okay. Unfortunately, Abramov didn't sustain. Like he, remember when he like touched 82 for a minute? Yeah, like he still would be solid depth, but he's just not not great. That's unfortunate. I was really excited to use him as a depth piece, but he just didn't maintain that 82. It must have been morale up like crazy. Anyway, we're still holding off on Byfield. Yep, okay. Got one coach. Yep, okay. That coaching trick still works. <laughs> How about this one? Uh, no, the head coach didn't, but the other one should, right? No! It's weird. Yeah, sometimes... Jano rejected, as did Bluger, so we're... Oof, Jano. I don't know if... I mean, I can pay him. It's like a... It's a point of principle, though, right? It gets to a certain point, you're like, buddy, you're a fourth liner. <laughs> like, <sighs> paying you three mil. I guess Philly's paying Delorier, like... Well, no, they get, it was the term that he got. All right, two and a half, motherfucker. Come on. If you don't sign for two and a half for a year, you're pushing it. I love what you did in the playoffs, but not that much. Bluger, you're the most expensive depth piece on the planet. Got him, got him. But there we go, we got him. 12.7 still. Uh, and we know probably may maybe 10. <sighs> Excuse me. Because if we decrease it to that, you know, we can get like that 10 mil probably-ish. And we still have wiggle room. And that's really all we need because we have our roster. Even with Larson gone, we're going to throw in that other guy. I'm still on this. I was like, where's my players? Um, yeah, so we still have, we've kept everything the same. Hopkins gonna need that. Okay, we're gonna see. Ooh, this is gonna be. Oh, we're gonna see a lot of stuff. All right, all right. Let's. We we're done though, right? Besides coaches, I'll try one more thing. Oh, that was weird. I looked down at the bottom and said I had all of them, but yeah, forget. All right. So let me. He does want AHL head. What if I did NHL head coach? Would he fall back into his other role? I don't know actually. I don't know how. I, I remember like sometimes it works with AHL, other times it doesn't. 
NHL, it always works. You just assign them the NHL, and they, they'll take it. Lap it up. Whoa. They didn't say anything. No. No, yeah. Okay. Um, so we might have to change that up. Whatever. <laughs> I'll, I'll get some good teaching uh, coaches for the AHL again. That's it, right? We just have Byfield. Double check. Double, triple, infinity check. Because my brain sometimes shuts off. All right. Yeah, I'm aware. They're just going to have to deal with it. Okay. So, free agency now. First things first. We want to check on Hopkins. I might actually do the shorter one. 86, though. I mean, he should grow into this. This isn't going to be too bad. I just don't want him to sometimes... You know how they can sometimes stop at top four? If I stop at top four... Or if he stops at top four... 6.6 6 is not the... It's actually still... It's actually kind of okay still. Where if he stays at 86, I would pay him 6.6. 6. It's not a huge team-friendly deal, but... If he grows more, this is a steal. So, my, I think I'll do it. Yeah. I think I'll do it. It's a, it's probably a fair deal for where he's at right now. And for eight years, if he grows, yeah. Uh-oh, Rozovic. Well, we know we don't have to bother. Yeah, but that's... That can't happen. <laughs> so he got some stat growth, huh? Looks like it. 55 points. He's at an 86. What do you get him at? 84, 85? Yep. This is where it gets interesting. But guess who? Guess who's knocking on that motherfucking door? Jesus. I, we we got to put him somewhere, right? Fuck. <laughs> Shit, dude. Like, even if he stays. I kind of don't want to do that. I almost feel like it might stunt him. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I kind of... Uh, let's just... Can I get two years? Okay, let's get two years at this two-way. See if he'll actually lock that in. So glad we... We traded this guy initially, remember? And we got him back in free agency because AI is stupid. Well, he, yeah, he might be taking Rosovic's spot, man, if I'm being honest. <laughs> Shit. Rosovic, buddy. Like, <laughs> love you, but... Mm, I don't think so. I don't think so, Chief. I don't think so. Um, yeah, all right. Oh, wait, I should have checked. Well, we'll, we'll see. We'll see an actual free agency because it'd be listed there. Kale McCarr is available and wants 13.2 million for six years and has a team interested. <laughs> all right, Kale McCarr in free agency. There's Byfield. He wants 11.5. 11-5. We're definitely waiting. I Maybe I should have signed him to that one year, but he might change his mind. Um, I'm going to check this just to see. 11-5 is not going to be... It's going to be... I was going to say, if it's four firsts, fuck it. But uh, it'll only be this first three round of picks. We do not want him falling into the first, second, and third category, which is 7.4 to 9.9. .9. We'll match that. You know, I can just... Leave. Again, I want to make him sweat. I want to see if someone will, someone will offer it, and I'll fucking... Sign it based on that, I guess. That's kind of risky, though. We do have a lot of trade value, but it is sh really risky. We're taking a gamble here, but I think it's a gamble we should take. Just to see if we can get it for a little bit cheaper. See if we wait him out a little bit. I'll check. I'll check on him. I'm checking on my trade value first, though. <laughs> Oblin's got some really good trade value, but he's also a really good fucking player. Yeah, I think we wait him out for sure. But we do have some trade value we can uh, give back up, obviously. Some of those blind picks. Good trade value. I think we got, what, two elite goalies? No, just one. Yeah, see what I mean? Like, that's the same amount of trade value as a like a top six prospect. Which is, in my opinion, the good way to do it. It's the way it should be. That's why I took that top six where I took them. All right, well... We'll, we'll formulate a plan of action, for sure. My brain was almost like, let's fucking keep going. Just get another... <laughs> but we gotta wait, though. Um, Yeah. 
Let me know what you guys think. But uh, I think we make Byfield sweat it out. Let's try to lower that price as much as possible. Even if it's going to be a one-year thing, we're going to want some flexibility at the deadline. Not that we're going to use it because that worked for us last season. But we'll have to kind of see if we really, really like what's going on. And and yeah, because we might actually you know, be adding a, a top six defenseman or something like that. Maybe Etienne is not ready. Uh, I'm just going to keep calling him by his first name because I love saying that name. Uh, it's, it just flows so well. Some of those French words, man, and French names, they flow so well off the tongue. And Etienne is definitely one of them. Anyway, let me know what you guys think. Of course, hit that like button. And I'll see you in the next one.